Hey guys, so I'm doing another Zelda video, another one. And um, I know you guys are probably thinking, John, it's like you don't even play Zelda really. Uh, do you even really like it that much? To which I say, dun, 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 dun. Pretty sure I like it. But here we have a, and I, I'm, I'm doing this video because I just thought of something. I actually recorded but I'm like, I thought of something wild recording and it just blew my mind. Okay, so. We know this tapestry, right? From Breath of the Wild. We've got the four divine beasts. I was going to say the saint beasts. It's not Yu Yu Hakusho. There's no saint beasts here. It's not the, this isn't the spirit world. Uh, so we have the saint. Uh, there, I, there we go. I just said saint beast and that's what I was about to say. The divine beasts um the guardians and we have this you know calamity ganon and this guy right here who is very clearly not not link he's got flowing red hair uh appears his either his skin or um he's wearing green and uh it's like it's clearly not link so who is this well nintendo and all their wisdom have given us vague little drops about this uh, in the form of a armor set. Meet the ancient hero's aspect. Now, what do you notice? Green skin. Green skin. Flowing red hair. Flowing red hair. So this is the image that Link takes on when he dons this, um, this set. Uh, it changes him completely. You see his feet right here, very animal. Um, he loses a digit there. <laughs> he grows a tail. Uh, and his ears are not Zonai. They seem to be Hylian. Or Gerudo. Uh, and I say that for a reason. So it is very much a Zonai. The same, you know, tatted areas type thing on them. The same uh, aesthetic for the, the armor. Uh, but they have something that you don't, I don't think would see with Zonai. This flowing red hair. You want to know who do have flowing red hair? The Gerudo. Notice they have very green skin. You know who else has green skin? Ganondorf. So this is an ancient hero. They're clearly not fully Zonai. Wouldn't it be something if this was actually a child of Ganondorf and a Zonai? Now, I don't know how that would implicate with, you know, how with the lore, you know, with, uh, you know, every hundred years a Gerudo male is born. You know, Ganondorf could very well be over a hundred years. Uh, so that would give enough time to pass for another male to be born. What if Ganondorf was there at a time where the Zonai were among people? And what if he did get it on with a, a female Zonai? Wouldn't that be something? What For this, a child born of Zonai and Gerudo, containing the spirit of a hero who then goes on to defeat his own father. Or a, uh, a, a representation, uh, kind of, you know, manifestation of his father. His father being sealed under Hyrule Castle, but something powerful enough to where we need an entire army of uh, guardians and divine beasts and, and all that. Something that powerful. You go on to defeat something created by your own father. <clears throat> because if you look at Mineru 
and you look at um Rauru, even in life, Rauru did kind of have let me let me let me bring him up. Alright, so here's a picture of Rauru. As you can see, the aesthetic, the clothing is Zonai. There's no doubt. Um, the Zonai take on the form of like animals. He appears to be like some kind of goat or uh it maybe they, they take on forms of foxes or cats or something, but they're not hu uh, completely, not like uh, Queen Sonia here. You can t clearly tell she's a Hylian. Um, although, yeah, her ears are a bit longer. And Rauru, his, his skin is more like... Uh, gray? Kind of grayish? Um, and Mineru's is kind of the same. And you can kind of tell because he's got like green stones right there and you can compare that to his skin and these are the gr this is green and you've got the green right there and it's all very similar in green and it's very similar to this kind of green so this person is clearly zonai but clearly also something else um again Gerudo, Naburu from Ocarina of Time. Urbosa. Riju. They all have red hair. That is like a staple of Gerudo women. They have red hair. What if... What if Nintendo went down that route and said, hey, we're going to make a hero who isn't Link, who, is, who contains the spirit of the hero, and this person is going to be part Zonai, part Gerudo, they're going to be the son of Ganondorf. Wouldn't that be something? Even if it's just part Gerudo, and they have no relationship at all to Ganondorf, the green skin. You, you can't tell me that there's, this isn't too big of a coincidence. It's Gerudo skin, Ganondorf skin, Ganondorf skin. The reason why this guy has red hair, he's Gerudo. Ganondorf is in fact a Gerudo so that explains that nice flowing red hair I mean obviously that's Riju's not the mom or anything I'm just saying uh, same thing the Gerudo random Gerudo um, again Urbosa flowing red hair um Naburu, glowing red hair. So we could very well see a hero, a person containing the spirit of the hero in a game that is in fact the child, either the child of Ganondorf or at least a Gerudo, and also part Zonai. I mean, I, 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 it's cool that the whole Zonai you know, Gerudo hybrid, but boy, would that be something if it was Ganondorf's kid who goes on to defeat him. I mean, it's a very, very, like, a cliche type thing. You know, oh, the child rises above the father or the, 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 the you know, the student becomes the master. It's been done, but to have it in a Zelda game with someone as memorable as Ganondorf, with a race that was just introduced, because these are all the skin color, the hair color, these are all things specifically picked out for this very, for, for, for this. They made the conscious decision to make his skin green. They made the conscious decision. They wanted you to know that this is not fully Zonai. This is a hybrid. 
And who do we know who all have red hair? The Gerudo. So, it, it still really, really messes with the timeline. Because it's like, okay, Ganondorf must have been around while the Gerudo were there. So, or um, while the, uh, the Zonai were around. Because the Gerudo have been around for a long time. So, they must have been there when the Zonai were among the people and still very much alive uh because we like i said we know that rauru and mineru were are the last sonai um so gandorf must have been around at the time where the zonai had come and they were all walking among the land and uh i don't know if I, if it was out of love or lust or whatever I would say nine months later, but I don't know how long it takes for a Hylian or a Garuda woman to, have, uh, to give birth. I don't think they ever really state that, but based on that Hylians are very similar to humans, I would say about nine months. Um, so out of lust or love, maybe Ganondorf is like a Saiyan. You know, maybe he admires strong women. And maybe he met a Zonai that was strong and didn't take his crap. Who had the magical capabilities and prowess to stand against him. And he admired that. And it's been shown that he does admire people who show strength. It's very well possible. Remember in Ocarina of Time. When he first meets Link. He could have killed him right there. But he basically, I like you kid. You know, Link showed courage and guts i mean he even and like one of my favorite lines he's like you've got guts kid he's like let me show them to you no he doesn't say that but he admires link for the courage for standing up to him uh that's why he shoots a blast and it's just enough to knock link down it's not enough to kill him because he doesn't want to kill him one he's a kid and he thinks he poses no threat but he showed courage and he admires that he showed a type of strength and he admires that so would it be safe to assume that ganondorf possibly met a, a strong zonai woman whose magical power far exceeded his own and he fell not maybe fell in love but just admired that because ganondorf has been shown to be a reasonable person sometimes not reasonable in a you could sit down and have a conversation with the guy and all that but you know everyone brings up with the wind waker and how you know he flat out tells link he's like i don't want to kill you i just want the triforce you know and, and he picks link up and instead of just ripping him apart right then and there which he very easily could he just takes the triforce piece he outright tells Link, i don't want to kill you i just want the triforce that the piece that you have inside of you You know, he, he's shown to be very, uh, you could say sometimes domesticated, you know, but what if now this is, this is just a theory, a game theory, because we don't know anything else. We don't know the hero's name. We don't know how he sounded. We don't know his uh, abilities could this be dlc stuff you know we learn more about this guy could they make an entirely new game in the uh the the breath of the wild time uh about this they could have it like a trilogy type thing we saw the aftermath of the great calamity we saw like the, the imprisoning of ganondorf uh, and I think Age of, well, Age of Calamity kind of did that, but obviously, this, this is, uh, you know, but just, just think about that for a second, about how this could very well be 
a, a combination, a hybrid of Ganondorf, or at least Gerudo, and a Zonai, which shows you don't need to be Link or Hylian to possess the spirit of the hero, which means we could have a game where we're a Deku scrub or a Goron. Um, so you don't need to be Link to possess the spirit of the hero. You could be really any race now, it seems. And that this could very well be a child of either Ganondorf or just a Garuda woman and a uh, Zonai. But if this is in fact, because again, aesthetics, they do things on purpose to drop hints, to give you clues. Green skin. Green skin. Glowing red hair. Glowing red hair. So this person has to 100% be at least Gerudo and Zonai. Whether it's the child of Ganondorf, which again, that would be amazing. But I thought this was extremely interesting. The fact that we kind of get to see this guy. Um... But what do you guys think? Again, these are just thoughts that I've had because we don't know anything about this. This is just an armor set that you get at the end of the game or the end of completing all the shrines. Like, go to the Temple of Time for your reward. Your eternal reward. Uh, and you go and get this, the ancient hero's aspect. But they wouldn't have put this in the game and made it look like this if it wasn't important. You know, this isn't just like a fun little, oh, look at me, I'm a Zona. No, everything about this is specifically created for a reason. Game companies will do fun things, but when there's a new race or something like that and they're trying to drop a lore, what perfect way to do it. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.